hello everyone. Uh, my name is Yi Han Cheng. I'm a postgraduate uh, student from the University of Minabahi and the CEA. Today, the topic of my presentation is the effect of specimen size and thickness on ductile crack growth of high top knee steel 300 and CNL. This research consists in the uh, characterizing of fracture toughness of material for design of structure. When we do some tests about fracture toughness, we have to follow some standards like ASTM or ISO. These standards define the test procedures and the dimension, uh, dimension of specimens. But in reality, we often want to use small specimens because of, uh, because of uh, the presence of heterogeneity, thin products, etc. In particular, the small specimens is outside the wide domain of standards. Therefore, uh, so we are interested in the miniaturization of CT specimens. However, this miniaturization is not as easy as a tensile specimen because when, thickness, uh, when the specimen thickness decreases, the tr stress trajectory decreases which leads to an increase of fracture toughness, like the figure as shown in the right, in the right and the, uh, above. When the thickness decrease and, it, and, uh, and it arrive at a critical value, we have a change of tendency. Therefore, the uh, effect of specimen size and uh, 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 thickness is very important for the CT specimens, which is also subjective of my research. Secondly, we hope to develop a method to measure the toughness of small specimens. To achieve that, the austenitic stainless steel 316L is involved in my study, which is largely used in the nuclear facilities and is considered for many new applications. Another reason for this material is that it has a very high toughness, which give, uh, give, which give us enough margin to study. To, uh, in order to evalu evaluate the whole business of, of, our of, of our method, this material is also studied in a thermally aged state, which, which uh, makes it possible to have a higher elastic limit and a lower fracture toughness. So this, present, this presentation uh, in, includes uh, these five points. Firstly, an uh, introduction which has been presented last page. And the second is the material characterization. The third and fourth parts are numerical, are experimental and numerical analysis of CT specimens. And at the last, there are some conclusions we have got. In this page, I want to introduce some part of material characterizations. A uh, tensile test with uh, smooth, uh, smooth and notch uh, specimens are carried out at initial and aged state. The, sorry. the first figure is the result of a smooth tensile test, which are curves of engineer stress as a function of uh, diameter reduction. We could see that. The, the, this curve shows a shows a um, high work hardening for both initial and aged state. After aging, the maximal stress increase and the fracture strain decrease. That you say the aging process reduces the ductility but increases the work hardening. If we look at the result of notch the tensile test, when the radius when the notch radius decrease, we have an increase of maximal for, for maximal. Uh, stress and uh, decrease of fracture strain. And once again, we found the, the, decrease, uh, the decrease of uh, ductility after aging. All these uh, tensile results form a database for the identification of plastic behavior of our material. So we constructed a double works model uh, like this by finite element simulations. The result uh, um, at below, the red curves are a result of simulations. They are compiled with uh, um, experimental curves from these uh, 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 features. We can see uh, a good consistency between exper experiments and the simulations. This mo plastic model will be used in the part of CT specimen simulation. Now, 
we move to the test of CT specimens. For experiments of CT specimens, we use the, uh, the elastic compliance method. That is to say, we estimated the crack length by compliance calculated, calculated in the partial unloading. In order to uh, study the effect of thickness, the, the specimen CT 12.5, whose nominal thickness is 12.5 uh, millimeter, is or were tested. But its, uh, but its thickness varied from 12.5 to 5 millimeter. From the from the um, curve of force and the crack mouth opening displacement, we can see that uh, when uh, in, when the thickness increase from five to ten, we have uh, an increase of CMOD at maximum force. But the CMOD at maximum force decrease when the thickness increase from ten to twelve point five. If we look at GR curves, which are G integral in, as a function of uh, crack growth like the figure uh, above and center. The dashed line, uh, the dashed uh, horizontal line are Gmax defined by standards. We could see that for a uh, very ductile uh, material such as 316L, the GR curves goes out of the very domain of standards very quickly. There, none of initial state tests meet the requirements of standards. Then we can draw the, um, dot, uh, the blending line like the dotted line to determine the G02 as standards. The, the value of G02 are plotted uh, in the figure above and right with the uh, blue points. We sh it show a uh, non-monodonic evolution and we found a critical, uh, the, this, uh, this evolution is like the curve we have, show, uh, we have looked at the introduction part. And there exists a, a critical value for the thickness where we have a change of tendency. Then, I did uh, the same experiments uh, with the uh, aged material, like the figure uh, um, below on the left. This time, the CMOD at maximum force is uh, um, don't have um, uh, much difference. If we look at the GR curves, we are in the valley domain of standards. That to say, all uh, aged state tests meet the requirements of uh, standards. The value of G02 are also plotted uh, in this figure with uh, red points. We could lo look that uh, after aging, the fracture toughness uh, was uh, greatly reduced. And uh, for the non-monodonic uh, evolution, the critical uh, thickness depends on material. The more ductile, the greater the critical thickness. In this page, we can see some uh, fracture photos uh, of CT 12.5 uh, with nominal uh, thickness. The first line are initial state, and the second line are aged state. Globally, at initial state, uh, the, de the deformation uh, is bigger, then we have a pre crack front more elliptical. If we look at the details, there are many uh, large dimples with some particulates. So, at initial state, it, uh, we have a typical, um, fract a typical ductile fracture. But at aged state, as the deformation uh, is less, we have a more straight uh, break crack uh, front. The, the fracture occurs at mainly uh, uh, at uh, green boundaries uh, with many uh, mini dimples. So from the fracture photos, we can see also the reduce of fract uh, fracture toughness after aging. Now, we move to the part of uh, CT specimen simulations. In this part, the plastic behavior, for plastic behavior, the model identified with the tensile test is used. For damage behavior, a GTN model is introduced with the parameters taken from reference who use uh, the same steel type. According to symmetry, only a quarter of specimen was modeled as the figure above on the right which are 3D models with uh, different uh, thickness. Uh, in, in simulations, uh, as the crack length uh, can be uh, measured directly, like, the, like these figures, the, uh, a, a monodonic load uh, is applied for simulation, like this. For, this, for the curves of uh, force and CMOD, we, ca CMOD, we can see uh, an, a decrease of CMOD at maximum, maximum force when the thickness uh, increases. In the curve, for the curve of G, GR, for the GR curve, we could see that 
when the thickness uh, incre uh, decrease, the fracture toughness increase, which is not the same tendency as the experiments uh, at, initial, at the initial state. Then I did uh, the simulation uh, with all the thickness. Like uh, this figure, we, I plotted all the G02 uh, there. But uh, we reform, we rebuilt the non-monodonic evolution of G02 with thickness. But this time, the critical thickness is five millimeter. So that's why we have uh, an increase of, uh, uh, an increase of uh, frog toughness when thickness decrease. If I recall, for the experiments and initial state, the critical thickness is between 10 and 12.5. Then we have a decrease of frog toughness when thickness decrease. That you say, for, for simulation and experiments, we are at different uh, parts of the, uh, at the, this curve. Now, that's the last uh, part, uh, it's our conclusions. In, during my presentation, uh, we have looked at the characterization of um, not ma our material, 300 CNL steel. Uh, we, uh, for the tensile test, we have looked at uh, the increase of tension resistance and uh, decrease of ductility, ductility after aging. We use the uh, finite element simulation to determine the plastic behavior and it shows a good uh, consistency between experiments and the simulations. For the part of CT specimens, none of initial stage tests meet the requirements, uh, uh, meet the requirements of standards, while all aged states are valid. We found a non-monodontic evolution of G02 with thickness, and uh, there, exi there exists a critical thickness, which depends uh, on the material. The more ductile, ductile the greater the critical thickness. So that's all for my presentation. Thank you for your attention.